support for multiple runtimes on a single machine for cloud robots. Um, and the way that would work um, would be that on a very similar experience like managing your own machines and running multiple execution slots on the machine or the template that you create, um, even on cloud robots now, um, when you navigate to creating the machine, uh, again, um, even if it's a manual or a, a auto pool, you will have provision to add multiple runtimes. In case you may have noticed, this was a field that was non-editable in the past um, that we are providing support for now. Um, you can edit the multiple runtimes and this particularly comes handy in terms of um, in scenarios where you're managing your manual pools, where you need to create, delete, manage your own uh, VMs within the pool. Um, in, in particularly those scenarios, you can um, run multiple runtimes or execution slots on a single machine such that then the, the only provisioning in terms of shutting down, starting, enabling jobs, etc. All you need to do, do all of that on a single machine that will run uh, multiple jobs concurrently given the different runtimes that you add. Um, do note, these runtimes come um, are charged by robot units. Um, they're charged flat irrespective of the size of the machine that you provision. So even if you provision a production medium machine that the first runtime will cost you 7,500 robot units for, for every additional runtime, we'll only charge 5,000 robot units per month. Um, and that's for production machines. Um, in case you're choosing a test environment or a test VM, um, irrespective of the size of the first runtime that you select, uh, for all additional runtimes, we're charging only 2,000 robot units per machine. So this also comes at um, some cost saving to the customer in addition to reducing the uh, hassle of managing multiple machines, especially if it's a manual pool. Um, everything else in terms of how much we charge for the first runtime remains the same. What you have now though, is you can add multiple runtimes um, and will be charged differently for the additional runtimes that you add. Um, like I said, this is available for automatic pools as well as manual pools. Um, and I already have for the purposes of today's demo, I have a machine that I've created, um, which has two runtimes added to it. Um, as you'll see here, there are two runtimes added to it. It's a test uh, machine and it is uh, running already. Um, so I've also allocated it to one of our one of my folders where I have a test automation um, or, or a job that I want to run um, for, for today's demo. Um, and I'll run two jobs concurrently on it to, to, sh to show that with that single machine, um, this is the machine that we've seen, the pool where we saw there's one machine added. Um, even when I'm executing the process twice, um, it should simultaneously start. As you can see, they both started running uh, together and uh, that hence with the same machine, you're able to now um, run jobs concurrently, manage the machines at one go itself. Um, so that was the demo on multiple runtimes.